Chapter 13, practice test number 10. We have a block of mass 2.3 kilograms attached to a spring on a horizontal frictionless table. The block is pulled 5.6 centimeters from equilibrium and released from rest. It then makes 4.8 complete oscillations in 1.8 seconds. Okay, um, excuse the funny, it doesn't go, it doesn't start with A because I forgot to uh, restart the numbering, I don't know, anyway, but I want to find frequency, spring constant, total energy, max speed, speed when it's at half of the amplitude, and max acceleration. So um, I've written down all the pertinent information, there's only four things, and here's all the stuff we want to find. So let's just make our way through the list. Okay, frequency. Frequency is cycles per second, so it's just going to be 4.8 cycles divided by 1.8 seconds is the frequency. Uh, 2.7 hertz. Okay, next up we've got spring constant. Well, spring constant, I know, is uh, in the period somewhere. So I could start with, I'm going to do a different color because I'm in a new thing. I could start with this equation. Or I could start with the one for frequency because we did get that one in class. However, this one is on your sheet. Either one is totally cool. You can use either one. Okay, if you use um, this one, you just need to flip this over. So if you use this one, you'll have to do like 1 over f equals 2 pi m over k, like that. Um, either way, you're going to end up with the same thing. Uh, I solve for k uh, either way. I end up with, let's see, solve for k, here we go, um, k ends up, oops, that went funky, k ends up being 4 pi squared frequency squared times mass, which in this case ends up being 650 newtons meters. I've rounded that to two sig figs. Next up is total energy. Uh, there are other ways, but the easiest way to find the total energy is that the total energy will be the same as the maximum spring potential energy, um, which is 1 half kx squared, where x is the amplitude, the maximum stretch, so 1 half ka squared, which is 1 half times 650 newtons per meter. Um, a squared A is 5.6 centimeters. You have to put this in meters to get your energy out in joules. So make sure that you put 0 0.056 meters squared, not 5.6. Okay, you do that and you get, well, rounded to two sig figs, you get 1.0 joules. That's a coincidence. I just randomly made up numbers for this problem. Yeah. Anyway, um, then we next up we've got V max. There's two ways you could find this one. You could do. Um, you could go. You could go back here and find omega. Like omega uh, is the root of k over m, and then. V max is A times omega, so A times the root of K over M, which would be 0 0.056. Again, you need to put standard units. Square root 650 over mass is 2.3 kilograms. This is newtons per meter, this is kilograms. And if you do it that way, you get. Mm, 0.94 meters per second. Oops, nope, not seconds squared, just seconds. Or you can do it. Ow, sorry, my cat just got me. <laughs> um, or you can get. Uh, you can do this by energy conservation. 
For instance, I know that um, this is the only energy I'm ever going to have. It's the total energy where when I have a maximum um, velocity is where all of that energy is going to be kinetic energy. So all of that energy is the just kinetic, the max kinetic energy, which is one half mv max squared. So I can put one joule equals one half mass is 2.3 kilograms times the V I'm looking for, V max squared. I can do it this way, in which case I multiply by 2, divide by 2.3, so I get uh, 2 over 2.3 is V squared, so V ends up being mm, 0.93. So these are the same answer. Um, there's just a little more rounding error in, let's see, which one would it be? Well, both of them. Both of them have a bit of rounding error in them, and that's why they're not exactly the same, but they're close enough, so either one will work. Uh, let's see, we got V at half of an A. Okay, for this one, you have to use energy conservation. Where, there's my mouse, okay. Let's see, what color haven't I used yet? How about this funny slate gray thing? Okay, running out of room. I don't want to flip the page. Uh, I think I have to. I'm going to flip the page. Okay, this one I have to use ener energy conservation. So I know that for any spot, any spot at all, the total energy is going to be the potential energy in the spring plus the kinetic energy which is going to be 1 half k that position squared this is this distance from equilibrium position from equilibrium plus 1 half m velocity at that spot so i know that's got to equal 1 because that's all the energy i'm going to have k was 650 my position is half the way to maximum so i'm looking at amplitude over 2 squared plus one half mass v squared okay um oh i guess i could put a mass in there now oh, i'll do it in the next line okay so right away um i'm going to multiply everything by two to get rid of these so two now equals 650 and i'm going to drop units just because just because um a for this problem a was 5.6 centimeters so that's 0. Point, a point zero 0.056 meters over 2 that's going to get squared plus mass was and i forgot that again 2.3 this is why i didn't want to flip the page 2.3. Again, the, the half is gone because I multiplied everything by 2. Okay. Um, mass v squared. Okay. So I end up with. Wow, well, okay. This is what I end up with. I hate to write it all again. Rah, I'm getting hungry. I want to go get that burrito. Okay, that's going to be v squared. So v, put all that on my calculator, square root it. In the end, I get, let's see, I get 0.8 meters per second. 0.80 if you round to two sig figs. Okay, almost done. Last thing we wanted was A max. There's two ways to get this one. Um, we did have an equation in class. A max is amplitude times omega squared um, which in this case omega is this is a spring so omega is k over m so that would be a times well, omega is square root of k over m squared so you get a times k over m um, or I could say that a max sorry is equal to force max over mass 
because F equals MA. And for a spring, that would mean that it was um, the force of a spring is KX. I want max force, so it would be KX max over M. And X max is A, so I still get uh, K times A on top and M on the bottom either way. Either way, that's what I'm going to get. Okay, so I end up with uh, 650 newtons per meter times 0.056 meters over 2.3 kilograms. And in the end, that gets me um, rounded to two sig figs, 16 meters per second squared. All right, now there's a lot here. And I'm spreading 10 points out over this whole thing. So for points, we need one per answer. So let's go through and do that. So we've got answer, answer. It's one, two. Oh, shoot, it's a different color. OK, wait, we're going to put points in black because I never use black for anything. Go back, go back. OK, there we go. One point, two points. Three points, four, five, six, okay. So there's six points right there. That's pretty crazy. Um, I want a point for writing down either an equation for period or frequency. So that's seven points. Okay. I want a point for somehow using showing energy conservation somewhere okay somewhere over here so that's up to eight points um for this one either either this equation or this equation one of them you get a point whichever path it is that you take alrighty and that should be nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, for the last point, we're going to do what the AP test sometimes does when they need one more point is if you have correct units on all numerical answers, point. That means you have to have correct units on everything. 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 Okay, everything has correct units. Units. Point.